Well, good afternoon, uh, YouTubers. This is uh, Bear at Bear's Rod Shop, and uh, on the uh, Sunday, we had uh, took out this old Craftsman motor, and she's now back in her home place and uh, up and running well. And we actually uh, wanted to make this bandsaw portable to move all around the shop. So this lead of 220, 50 amps comes in here. And uh, then we're, we have fused down to 30 amps for this uh, Craftsman, uh, you know, repulsion induction motor to 30 amps. Now we can unplug this, we can move this saw anywhere around now instead of having a wall outlet in the back and being fixed. Uh, makes it much more universal. And boy, did she hum now on 220. Uh, she struggled on uh, 120 volts. And uh, since we had rewired, and you can see that video from Sunday, uh, where we had all the wires uh, redone and uh, cleaned up, she's ready to go. Let me set this real quick up here on the tripod. And uh, we're going to lock it down. And let's see if we can get a good video of this. I'm, I'm still trying to make this uh, special part for the... Uh, yeah, let's see if we can zoom this around a little bit. For the uh, uh, C3 Corvette. So let's fire this thing up and cut this thing off. Now she's got power. Well, let's see. Doesn't have a stator. Give her one little spin.
we got the piece that we needed for the C3 uh, Corvette. And this gets a bend through here that goes into the front nose piece. And, uh, but boy, do we love throwing 220 at this old Craftsman motor down here. It, it is absolutely phenomenal, the difference between it and it was struggling on the 115 volts or 120 volts. But anyhow, this piece right here, uh, you'd have to buy a whole kit for the Corvette uh, front end pieces, uh, $280 just to have this one piece. That's all we need. One of them was missing. So, let me, uh, please, uh, forgive me. I'm gonna use my rag right here before I get hold of that camera. Don't, don't want to get anything on that, uh, camera. All right. And, uh, let's go back here real quick. And we're going to take this piece with us. But I, uh, the main reason for this video is I am so impressed that throwing that old Craftsman uh, at 220 versus 110, how well she did. And now then we will arch and bend this piece. This has a figure S built in right here. And uh, we'll show you on the next video as uh, that piece is uh, reproduced to the, uh, this is for the left side and for the right side. So hopefully uh, you guys that are out there building old uh, Bandsaws, uh, lathe motors and stuff would appreciate this. We're, again, not electricians, but uh, it was a joy to uh, hear that thing running on uh, 220 volts versus uh, at uh, 30 amps than it was on uh, 115 volts of single phase. And uh, please thumbs up, subscribe, and uh, we will show you more as we uh, fabricate this part, uh, maybe tomorrow, and uh, reproduce it for that uh, left side of the uh, front spoiler that's up underneath. Thumbs up again. Please subscribe. Come back and visit Bear's Rod Shop. Thank you.